So this is the second video in a Don't Fear the AI uh, series. Uh, the goal is to help you understand AI a little bit better so you don't have to be afraid of it, but be aware of it. So this one's going to go over the pros and cons of using AI detectors. Now, uh, in the last video, I showed you how a student can use uh, specifically ChatGPT and Google Docs to um, uh, create a, a piece of writing, original piece of writing, that they could pass off as their own, right? Um, one way to prevent that is using AI detectors. And so uh, I'm going to show you the, uh, the pros and cons, mostly cons, of using these, okay? So this video is going to take a look at four of the big ones that are out there, including ChatGPT. Um, and then in the next video, we'll kind of show you some ideas on how to AI proof uh, assignments, including using a couple of extensions that uh, you, you might find helpful, okay? And I'll link to them in the description in YouTube. Let's start with a warning against using detectors or against relying too heavily on detectors. Um, uh, for, for two main reasons, two main groups of students specifically, your uh, non-native English writers and neurodivergent writers. Writing from these two groups of students tend to be flagged as likely written by AI more often. Um, and uh, this article, which I'll also link in the description, uh, kind of explains why. Let's start with the website Undetectable. And the way that this one works, simply like most of them, is you copy a chunk of text and you paste it into the text box and then it tells you how likely it was written by uh, artificial intelligence. So here, uh, in the previous video, I used ChatGPT to create a response to a prompt about Macbeth. And so the prompt said something like, in 150 words, explain why Macbeth is a tragic figure. Pasted it in there. Uh, and uh, as you can see in at the bottom there, your content is detected as written by AI. So, oh, good job. But wait, this uh, website has a humanize button. So I can click more human and then click the humanize button and I'll rewrite it so that it can fool uh, AI detectors. What? All right, so when I click it, it does tell me, hey, there's a paywall, so be aware of that. And here's the output. Um, now, if you saw the last video, uh, there was these images of fingers that were kind of off and sometimes grotesque. Um, you know, the, the, this writing is a little off, maybe even a little grotesque. So look, look at the, that first sentence. Macbeth, a character in Shakespeare's play, Macbeth is a figure. That's uh, not great, right? Um, but it, you know, it, it can't be detected. Right, and those little uh, green circles there indicate that it passed all of those different sites. So, um, so I, I took that, um, you know, I'm going to call it the grotesque paragraph. So I took the grotesque paragraph, put it back into Undetectable, and asked it to uh, see if this was written by AI. And it fooled itself, as you can see. Your content appears human, is what it says. Wow, all right. Okay, well, let's let's move on here. Uh, let's try ChatGPT. So uh, I put it into ChatGPT and asked it, did you write this? And it said, no, I, I didn't write that. I'm like, okay, maybe I asked the question wrong. Was the passage produced by AI? Well, and it said, no, nah, I can't really tell that, you know, that's not what, I'm, what I do. So I was like, okay, all right. Um, so past, past that. The other big one is GPT-0, and this made headlines because this was one of the first ones to come out. And I also, again, will hyperlink to this article from uh, Wired Magazine that explains how this is an arms race. As AI gets smarter, the detectors get a little better, and then AI gets a little better. And so, but let's try GPT-0. So uh, again, it's similar interface where you have a text box. So I copied the original ChatGPT produced one, right, and put it in there. 
And it said, there's a 54% chance that this was written by artificial intelligence. Now, it doesn't say that 54% of what was written was. There's a 54% chance. 54%. That's a 50-50. It's yes or no. I don't, I don't like those odds, right? Um, it will highlight specifically sentences that appear written by artificial intelligence. It actually didn't uh, highlight any in, in this one. Okay, well, remember that number. So now I'm gonna do the same thing, but with that grotesque one, right? The one that went through uh, undetectable and 2% chance that it was written by AI. So 98% chance this was written by a human when it was not, right? So not really reliable, right? So then I thought, wait a minute, let me put in a letter of recommendation that I wrote for someone um, a few years ago. So this is before ChatGPT was a thing. I wrote this thing. Uh, I know I wrote it myself. So I'm going to copy it and paste it into this to see the percentage. And 60%, 60% chance that this was written by a robot when I know I wrote it. And not only that, five out of the 19 sentences are likely generated by AI, according to this. So again, not reliable. All right, what about copy leaks? So copy leaks is another one of these. Uh, so interface, again, pretty similar. So I copied the text of the original ChatGPT produced uh, essay, put it in there, click check, and it said, oh, this was written by AI. So hey, this was a little reliable. What about the grotesque version, the one written by undetectable? This is human. Oh, hey. Wait a minute, then I started wondering, what about my letter of recommendation? What does this one think? So I put it in there, hit check, and oh good, yeah, it's human. Oh, all right, I'm human again. All right, so next time we're gonna look at some ideas for AI proofing your assignments so that you may not have to worry about relying too heavily on these detectors.